What's up guys, people here again, and today's video is going to be a nice little review on, not this head, but the shaft, and that is going to be your Dragonfly, I got it on both sides, but Dragonfly Integra from Epic, and this is their newest shaft that they have on the market, it is $100 for it. In comparison to your Gen 6s, which I think are about a 130. Don't quote me on that, but 130 is the last time that I saw the price tag for one of the Gen 6s. But so the Integra is the newest one to their line. Basically, the idea behind it is to make a more affordable but still high end shaft for the consumer. And basically, if you were to compare this to a uh, Gen 6 the main thing and remember the technologies on the back of the shaft right here Pretty much the only thing that's different between this and a Gen 6 concave which I only I believe this is only comes in a Concave, but it comes in short pull and long pull, but the main difference is That it does not have a torque box which from my understanding the torque box is more or less uh, the snap point so like the torque box would be like somewhere more or less into the upper half area of the shaft because you don't want the bottom half of the shaft to flex at all because that's where your hands are so you want the flexing up higher but I think the idea is to just kind of have that generic feel to it so that there's not really so much of a snap going on with the shaft I mean it'll still flex because it has the whole reload technology which basically it will flex but it doesn't have a specific flex spot like the gen 6s do at least that's what i've come to understand um so that's the main big difference it is made in the usa um that's a big thing nowadays for people it's made in the usa it does not come with a green bottom it comes with a black one but i took the green one off of my uh my uh E30 and my ergonomic shaft from Dragonfly because I wanted green on there to match the head that I strung up, which is the prequel. We'll get on that later. But so Integra, hundred bucks. It's a pretty durable shaft. I've taken a couple metal shafts to it, not just full on trying to destroy it, but just you know your kind of basic check impacts. And it's I don't really have any chipping. I don't have any dents. Um, it had a little bit of a sandpaper texture to it. Uh, it wasn't overly abrasive or anything like that. Yeah. It's just one of those textures that you can hear, but it's not going to really affect your gloves too much. Uh, and it, I mean, like any sandpaper texture with a shaft, it's going to go away over time. So, oh well, all you got to do is just put some tape on it. Like me, I just do rings and whatnot, and then my fingers don't slide or anything like that. So really dependable shaft. I've seen a lot of people using it. I know Barefoot. I actually got this from Barefoot, uh, Zach over at Barefoot Lacrosse. You go check him out. He's got some pretty good videos. Uh, I like having fun with him and some of the videos we joke around and whatnot. But I got this from him and when I was working at some of the tournaments with him, a lot of people were really sold on it simply because it wasn't your traditional kind of metal shaft. I feel that a lot of people are kind of moving away from metal, at least the newer generations. Me on the other hand, I'll, I'll use my good old titanium shafts or wood shafts, um, but I, I really only have this and my E30 as far as carbon fiber is concerned. Uh, a lot of people are moving towards carbon fiber shafts though because they're light. Um, even if you try and make them more durable, they're still going to be a little bit lighter than most metal shafts, so there's that. Um, basically carbon fiber shafts work to where it's wrapping or rolling carbon fiber sheets together um, and from my knowledge they're either I wish I could remember the actual like number of rolls and wraps that there is but I I, I figured it out and found out but um, whatever most of the time on average most carbon fiber your generic carbon fiber shafts are going to have like 30 or 40 
wraps of the material. Um, your higher end shafts, especially your defensive shafts, are going to have a much more compressed but uh, tighter roll so that there's more material being rolled onto it, therefore having a stronger shaft. But I mean, there's other methods on how to create a carbon fiber shaft, but from my understanding, that's how dragonflies are made. And so, I mean, and if you're really trying to get into the carbon fiber game and you don't want to really drop a hundred, uh, hundred and over a hundred dollars on a shaft, the Integra is a really good one. A lot of different places are carrying it. I know LU is, I think uh, Lax World is. I know a lot of on online sites are carrying it. Um, it's a good shaft. It comes in deep hole. So deep hole guys, if you want a light but fairly durable shaft, give it a shot. And I mean, it's again, for the deep hole version, it's still gonna be cheaper than most alloy shafts out there. So it's worth a shot. And I really like the shaft. I like I said I don't usually use a carbon fiber shaft because I can I break most metal shafts so I have to have a really durable thing uh, being used on the field but I'm having more and more faith towards carbon fiber shafts these days especially uh, Epic's Dragonfly lines whether it's the Integra or the Gen, the, the Gen series where it's like the 5, the 6 and so on so thanks for watching guys I hope you got a little bit of info on the new Epic Integra Dragonfly shaft, and it only really comes in this color, so black with gray, black lettering with uh, a nice dark gray, so it's very kind of neutral looking, so you're not really going to have to worry about bright colors or anything like that, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video, go check out Epic Made in the USA proudly, I am happy to say, so I'll check you guys later.